Full charge ready. Clear. She's a normal sinus rhythm. Oh. That's what I want to hear. <sighs> Let's get out of here. Where? Ah. Uh, good work, everybody. That was a close one. Is she all right? Rob, what are you doing here? Well, we kind of got caught up in a rush out. Please, oh. is she all right? You said it was close. How close was it? Very. Could it happen again? Well, I can't make any promises, but she's no worse off than she was before. Now, you gentlemen are not supposed to be here. Well, I'm glad that I was. Thank you. Thanks, all of you. What the hell went on in there? It was a close one. She had a heart problem, and they had to use a, a code blue on her. Well, did it work? Is she okay? For now, I tell you, I feel like jelly. Let's get some coffee. Yeah. Right. Scorpio. I trust that your friend here has the same suspicious attitude that you have. So why should we leave him out? He wanted to know where I got my sources of information so I could find my own wife. You want to tell me? From newspapers. From the police department, my friends there. From public access. Until you closed me out of the search. And I want you to think about why you did something like that. I found out because I love her. That's how I found her alone. Now, when she wakes up, please have them page me in the coffee shop. Thank you. You believe him? I have more faith in the flat earth theory. But why? Because we already know he wasn't alone. All right. And who was with him? Who knows? But the guy went on the same plane with him, drove up to the mountains with him, checked in the same motel. Nice piece of meat for the headquarters boys to mess around with. Incidentally, do we have the flight number there? Yeah, it's right here in the snow There you go. Hey, Scorpio, give me Guy Lewis, will you? All the nurse would say is that Anna Lavery's alive, so her family got her back in one piece. Yeah. You're damned lucky the cops didn't arouse you when they found her. Oh, well, no, the cops are so close, but I got out in time. I do wish I'd been there when Duke found her, though. All you could get out of that is trouble. What do you gain? We gain, Papa. We gain a comrade. A man who owes us the life of the woman he loves. You don't get a bond stronger than that. We gain a future in doing legitimate business. We got very profitable businesses. We got an organization. We got connections all the way up to the top. What's in the future we don't have now? Freedom. I'm free. You're free. You've done time, Papa. In the past, I was a kid. So, so where are the guys you grew up with? Solly the bald guy, Big Nose Eddie, Fred the grifter, Ugly Mike. You could name a hundred of them. Dead, most of them. In the joint, the rest. So? Yeah, so don't tell me you're free. You're just getting air between stretches in the pen. It's over. The old days are over. Can't you get that? With the RICO laws and the feds breathing down your neck, well, you've got to go legal or we're all history. Then where's the action? Where's the excitement in life? I wanted a job in a bank. I buy a bank. <laughs> Who said that life had to be dull just because we're legitimate? Money's money. It'll still buy the best, trust me. Oh, Julie. Trust me is the last thing your best friend says before he shoots you. It was Big Nose Eddie told me that. And what happened to him? He was right. His best friend shot him. So, how does the Duke fit into this three-pea suit business of yours? Oh, he trusts me. Now, he didn't at first, but I stuck with him right to the end. So if his wife lives, he's gonna owe me. I'm not going to let him forget it. Thank God Anna made it through that cardiac arrest. She's a long way from being well. I can't make any promises until she gets a lot stronger. I think she's going to pull through. Mm. Unless, of course, something totally unexpected comes along. Which can happen. Barring something unforeseen, I'm pretty optimistic. And I pray that both of you are right.
discovered that Putnam was holding Anna in a mountain cabin about uh, 60 miles from uh, Utica. But you have captured Grant Putnam and he has been arrested? Yes, and I think we can all sleep a little bit better knowing that. He was apprehended with the very able assistance of the New York State Police. And as we speak at this moment, uh, Mr. Putnam has been returned to the institution from which he should never have been released. Well, I understand that in the last minutes before the capture of Grant Putnam and the rescue of Anna Lavery, that there was a dramatic chase in the high mountains on snowmobiles. Is that true? Yes. I'd also like to thank at this point the people of Port Charles, who over the last three weeks have extended enormous sympathy for Anna. Could you tell us what her condition is right now? Uh, well, as I understand it, she's suffering at uh, severe exposure and certain other complications which I can't go into. However, she does have the best medical treatment in the country. Three doctors who've been with her ever since she came in this afternoon, doctors Tony Jones and Alan and Monica Quartermain, who uh, couldn't be more dedicated. Thank you very much, Police Commissioner Robert Scorpio. Thank you. This is Tiffany Hill reporting to you from General Hospital. Clear. Right. That was wonderful. Thank you. That was good. That was good. Please, 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 please. Shh. You infuriated me the other night, you know that? Which night? The night that you decided to end all of our foolish games and stupid and destructive behavior. Well, that's too damn bad. It's not for the reason you think, Monica. You see, I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know that what we were going to do. Because I thought that those games were the only bond that we had between us. <laughs> so it seems that now we just don't have anything to be together for, right? That's not so. We have a lot to be together for. Because I saw something in you today that was also so exciting I'd forgotten. It was a gift. What, what gift? It was just the way that you handled the emergency with Anna Devane. Your, your competence, your skill, and... It made me remember that I... Why I fell in love with you in the first place. Are you serious? Never more serious. You see, I didn't just fall in love with Monica. I fell in love with Dr. Monica Quartermain. Wow. Uh, thank you. Um, I think that's... That's about the nicest thing that you've said. To me in a long time. We're not there yet. But we're getting there. Here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Whenever you say. All right. All right. You coming with us, Bobby? Oh, no, thanks. You go ahead. Okay. All right, sweetie. Come on. Hi. Can I have a white wine, please? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Bobby, you really wound up tight. You startled me, that's all. I don't like to startle. You're missing out on all the other fun there. Girls. What are you talking about? I'm having a wonderful time. Out the bouquet. I'm going to see who gets married next. I'm not a single woman, Scotty. You're a woman alone. Oh, because you don't see my husband standing here doesn't mean that I'm not married to him. Two years is a long time. A lot of things can happen. Nothing is going to change the promises that I made when I married Jake. It just doesn't seem right, you know? You're a beautiful woman, and you're just sitting here by yourself, alone. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't work. What do you know about me? You're so smug. I was a wild kid when I met you. That Bobby's gone. Can't change that much, Bobby. I have to. Jake changed me. Being married to him opened my eyes to a whole new set of values, of giving. I like myself a lot better this way. Well, that's great, except when do you get what you need? Look, I got along fine before you ever even came to Port Charles, and I can get along fine without you now. Well, that's catchy. <laughs> Sounds like an old song I remember.
what'd you find out? Turns out the four wheel was rented by a laborer's friend. However, New York State never issued a license in that name. That means what he had was a phony. Hmm. The question is, what's Lavery doing hanging out with people with forged licenses? I can think of several businesses where it might come in handy. Second line. Now, first thing tomorrow, I'm going to send a, uh, a sketch artist up to the, uh, the rental clerk in Utica, see if I can get a, uh, a drawing of Lavery's buddy. Yeah, maybe we can find out how he got his information before us. Exactly. You know, Robert, even with Putnam tucked safely away, if Duke is involved with the mob again... Yeah. Right? Ask Cypher, Anna, and Robert. Uh, Mr. Scorpio, Mr. Lavery, please. Dr. Quarterman wants to see you right away. Did she wake up? Is she all right? Uh, you better come. There's Jossie Deverall. Please call the fourth floor nurse station. Here we go. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, well. Started the day off with my foot in my mouth, but it's been smooth sailing ever since. Mm -hmm. It's been everything a woman could ask for. You know, I even think my mother was happy. Oh, mm, in that case, mm. I know it turned out well. Mm. You don't think anyone suspected anything? About what? But the baby. Of course not. <sighs> now, um, uh, we should go get changed and get out of here, don't you think? Well, okay. <laughs> you know, Walt and Patrick were sure asking a lot of questions about where we're going tonight and everything. What do you think they have in mind? Well, those two clowns, anything. You didn't let it slip. Did you? Oh, not a word. Not me. <laughs> you know, it's hard to believe we're really married. I know. I can hardly believe it, too. What time are we supposed to get down there? Well, everything's all paid for. Mm -hmm. Dinner will be waiting in our room. Mm -hmm. Anytime. So we should be getting ready. Yeah. As soon as you're ready. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, since we're in no rush. Mm-hmm. What happened? Is it hard? No. Uh, Shout out to 102. Why would that happen? Possible pneumonia. Get these to the lab stat. I want the results immediately. And ask them if they know anything about the first batch. Yes, doctor. Alan has taken samples of sputum and blood, anything that can identify this bacteria. It's in her lungs. What do we do now? I've given her a broad spectrum antibiotic, but we've got to get her fever down. Before what? What are you saying? Before there could possibly be any brain damage. That's what we're trying to say, I guess. I'm going down to the lab, see if Walt's there. I wanted to supervise this test person. Okay, I'll call you if there's any change. This is Charles Gibson. And Joan London. Tomorrow on Good Morning America, a visit with actress Kelly McGillis. And Alyssa Milano from the hit TV series, Who's the Boss? And Burt Reynolds joins us on Good Morning America. Thursday afternoon, the search for the right man goes on as Danny wants to find a date for his mom. Madeline Kahn stars in Wanted, The Perfect Guy, on the ABC After School Special, Thursday. And Friday at 8, 7 Central, Larry and Balky get in over their heads when they decide to play plumber on Perfect Strangers on their new night, followed by Full House.